Thank you, Willie. Let's hear it from Willie. Let's settle up out here. hard as I wrote it. And you can't always, you know, there's a speech you were going to make, there's a speech you make, and there's a speech you wish you made. So I'm going to kind of guarantee this a little bit, because uh, I wrote this the other day as I was thinking about where we're going. And uh, as I assume the role of Commodore this coming year, my goal is to maintain what we have going for us. Um, as each of you swore, it's, it's to promote good fellowship among the members and the yachting in general. Which is, I think, what we all do when we're out in our boats and we're sharing and we're going to all these different clubs and having the fun that we do. And uh, it's to promote boating safety education to provide the members with boating social activities, which I think uh, DMC does incredibly well. And uh, I want to thank the whole work and direction from all the past Congress and our new staff Congress, Sandy. Uh, there's nothing that seems to be broken in this club. As I assume the rules, there's. Uh, uh, a lot of people that have uh, created the situation that we're in right now, we're physically solid. We're, we're in a very good position now. And I, I, I think everybody ought to give a hand up. Yeah. Uh, everybody in the past year, the kind of got kind of back on track. Uh, it, it, the year coming up is, uh, is going to be one of good times, and that's going to be with safe boating, yeah. along with all our other activities. And that's going to include uh, bubbles and uh, gin business. That's going to be the call to you all as we move ahead into 2012. Um, I really want to, first of all, present your new first lady, my wife, Terry Winter. She's been behind everything done over the past few years, including much of the raffles, activities, and picnics. The uh, picnic tables, as you notice, uh, the last two picnics we did were covered. That was her idea, that was her insistence. Uh, bubbles, things along those lines are all pretty much dedicated to Georgia. I was there along with her. I won't take all the blame, but uh, in all the fun together, she's been the workforce behind the scenes in every respect from shopping to the events and raffles. As Pam and Vince will know, it's Peter and Haley are going to know as you go down the road. And uh, the purchasing uh, drugs is one that purchased the bubbles and the bubble machine you always see as uh, you want to sing in our cruise out. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Lord. I love you. Okay, here comes another message part. A very special thank you to Commodore Sandy. A very special thank you. And to Secretary Zane for all their years involved with the damn life. Yeah. Commodore Sandy's incredible leadership and here's the record keeping and club protocol, uh, we're standing pat and we're in ship shape. And that, that's what I've taken over. I've taken over the record of Sandy and Zane and, and uh, their involvement with the DMVC. Many of our operating procedures, even, unless you're up here and you do this stuff, you have no idea. Henry knows. Henry knows for sure. Wayne knows. <laughs> Sandy knows, and I've had the benefit of knowing, that uh, Zane's secretarial skills, not to mention this picture taking, she's doing it right now, the newsletter, the email communication, the club history, I mean, I'm just touching on, I'm just touching on the very surface of what Zane has done in developing our website. How many of you look at that website? Way beyond what some of the other clubs are doing for us. Uh, he's kept us all informed with his finger on the pulse of the DMYC in so many ways. Zane, thank you. Okay, well, uh, talking about that, those that have worked with the none of this great couple are going to finally attest to that. But, I, I've got to move on now because we have here just off to my left a little lady by the name of Haley Durgan. 
Haley is taking over for Zane. Yay! This year's And here's one of the neat things about Zane and Sandy. They have never given up on the club. They don't shut one door behind them. Whatever Zane has agreed to work willingly with Haley in the conversion over into uh, being the secretary. And uh, we're really excited because uh, I've had a few emails with Haley and talked with Peter and such. And, uh, the transition is going to be great, and Haley's going to be a fantastic sacrifice. <laughs> As the year winds down, there's so many others that have made our dinners, and this uh, is a really fun time. Uh, Rear Commodore Peter, I'd like to speak about a little bit here. Uh, he's had some great locations for our dinners lined up, which is including Humphreys, which is going to be our next one in January. He did a wonderful job in Port Captain and his enthusiasm despite waking us. <laughs> and dedication to his job despite getting stuck in the muck. <laughs> that really doesn't matter, Peter. You'll probably never live it down and never. there's a spot on that trophy right in the body. <laughs> anyway, Pete Pete was always there helping any way he could at our events from emailing directions. Uh, the cruise outs uh, and being there to help us to uh, tie up. He had his uh, own boat broken down, and that was after the uh, trip into heaven. And he he still came in and uh, helped set everybody up and, and get us tied in at the at the event after that. He's judged the contest, and uh, I'm also proud of him for carrying around that damn devil. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the one which uh, Vince and Mike built the yeah. occasion. Uh, Mike Leahy and uh, Vince Meyer did encompass the bell. We're going to have to do that maybe with the uh, Gale Force Swim Trophy. Okay, um, Vice Commodore Vince has had all the cruises set to some unique locations this year. Commodore Vince has provided us with some, uh, Vice Commodore Vince has provided us some out of the box dinners. you got to admit that. Uh, the whole thing, I, you know, the ride hotel with flappers. That was fun. You know, fun. Yeah. Flappers and mobsters, that was yeah, killer. Very cool. that was I really personally cool. like uh, Peter Steakhouse. Yeah, Peter Steakhouse was cool. We had to count two candy. That was delicious. And we got awards for that. But God, the amount of work you guys went to, you were there all day. Oh, yeah, we were there. Look at that. But you set up an incredible, an incredible event, and that was complete with the uh, videos that uh, Wayne does. Yes, Wayne. Um, and that was, I mean, that was really cool sitting there, because we all sat there watching all this stuff in Peter's Steakhouse, and everybody had a piece of what was going up on the screen, let alone what they were throwing down the throat. It was, it was really cool. Out the box, and then going out there to the big fireplace in some city. Great stuff. Um, Willie's going to do the treasure work again this year. This year for Willie.